So let's talk about this year's Mexican GP, where teams suddenly remembered how to race. It's like someone finally found the fast button in a secret menu only the top teams used to know about. Honestly, if I didn't know any better, I'd say they were all been training in a secret lair or something. Can you imagine? Just a group of underdogs scheming their great escape right under our noses? You know, for the longest time, it seemed like there was a personal vendetta against anyone not wearing a certain uniform. The historic victories felt like when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, very much out of reach for the rest. But lo and behold, Mexico has turned into the new Vegas, but with actual racing and not just all that other stuff. Can I get a what's happening? Oh, and can we talk about the unexpected winners? I was half expecting a marching band to come out and perform during the podium ceremony. But hey, credit where credit is due. Teams looked like they were competing for a trophy in most improved players rather than who knows how to steal a race. It's a miracle. Someone called the Olympic Committee because we may have new contenders for that unexpected hero award. I mean, just think about it. It's like this whole th season of The Bachelor where everyone is trying desperately to win the heart of a championship. But instead of roses, they just get pit stops and a really big trophy. And what do we, the fans, get? A reality check that maybe, just maybe, racing isn't all about the same 30-second ad playing on repeat during every race. The commentators must have been sipping cactus juice or something because they were practically speechless when underdog teams started putting the pressure on. It was as though they thought they accidentally turned on the wrong channel. Wait, is this really happening? No, it can't be. Ooh, look. It's not the same old story. Was that a sigh of relief or was it just exhaustion from not having to repeat themselves? And let's not forget how many times we heard phrases like historical trends and dominance thrown around like fireworks on New Year's Eve. But who knew the fireworks could also explode with excitement in the race itself? I guess the teams took that whole breaking the mold concept quite literally. Hey, F1 teams, if you're looking for a new marketing strategy, you might want to consider against all odds because clearly that's your new vibe. So here's the million dollar question. If F1 teams can defy all expectations and create this incredible buzz, then what's stopping them from doing it again? Are we ready for a season full of surprises and plot twists? Or are we still hitting the snooze button on the monologues of superiority we're all so used to? Buckle up, fans, because apparently anything can happen. And I mean anything. Are you ready for the next round of shock and awe? Like and subscribe, please.